Uh, today we will see how we can transfer the stock from one warehouse to another warehouse with the using of the reordering rules. So uh, for that uh, uh, what we can do we can simply create the warehouse. So here I created the different two warehouse uh, in the same company. Okay and uh, then after what you can do you can activate uh, the storage location and multi-step routes. Uh, so you are able to select the particular routes and uh, you can select that route on the products also okay uh, so then after what is the important thing that you have to do you can create uh, the transit location over here uh, system will automatically create you can activate the intercomplete uh, the warehouse transfer but in uh, another case you can create your transit uh, location so here the location type you must need to select the transit uh, location type Okay, uh, then after you need to uh, create the route. So here I created uh, like uh, from uh, warehouse B, I want to transfer the goods to A. So what first of all you need, uh, you need to uh, write down that uh, uh, the in the warehouse A. So uh, we need to generate the demands. So here you can see the van products are needed in WS stock. So this one is my first warehouse and in the in this particular warehouse, if something is needed, I want to transfer the goods from the transit. And here you can choose the trigger and other rules and uh, uh, and the most important do not select the warehouse over here otherwise it will only applicable to that warehouse and it will not work uh, when you have a transit kind of the location or you want to transfer the goods between the different warehouses. Okay, uh, after doing this so what we have done, uh, the, when the products are needed we can uh, uh, in the WS tag, we are just creating the internal transfer from the transit to fulfill the need. So now we have a need created in the transit location. Now we have to fulfill the order and uh, we need to transfer the goods to the transit location. So for that, we created the another rule. Uh, what it will do? So whenever the products are needed in the transit location, we are just creating the delivery order and uh, transfer the goods from WHB so that means the second warehouse stock just to fulfill the order okay so here uh, here you can see I have just taken the taken from the stock but if you have if you again want to buy the products then you can just trigger another rule like if uh, the products is not available in WHB uh, warehouse B then if you want to purchase then also it is possible you can just extend this route with uh, the supply method but for now i just said that uh, taken from the stock okay so that's it uh, then after what you can do you just make sure if this one is take because if you if you want to select that uh, this route on the product okay then after you can create a product so let's create a product that is two and here you can select the from b to a Okay. After doing this, uh, the reordering rules we can create. And now we want uh, the reordering rule applicable on the WS stock. That means warehouse A. And uh, we can write down that minimum 10 quantity and maximum 10 quantity. Okay, now here you can click on the order once. So once you can, you can see the message, the inter warehouse transfer has been created. So if you just go to your overview, uh, now you can say that uh, the you have a one transfer that is from the transit to stock, but it is in the waiting for another operation because you have to just transfer the goods from uh, the warehouse uh, A uh, WHB stock to transit location. So here it is a second uh, the drawn uh, operation type. I uh, can see, yeah, because of uh, the same company, and I have already even one open picking for this one. That's why uh, let me just cancel. Oh, I'm not. Uh, let's go back, and let me just cancel this one also. Okay, let's go. Okay, now we have nothing. Now let's go to the product uh, B and uh, here the tools and let's try this one okay 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 so it is just considering the same uh, warehouse for this one so how we can do this uh, so for that actually just go to the roots again 
and open this one and uh, let's assume that it's uh, try to transfer the b but that's why it will not just consider that wh2 oh i am made a mistake that's why because here the delivery type must be from uh, the warehouse b yeah that's why okay and i can select it yes transit okay now let's go to the products again and let, before that let me just delete all this and cancel this one let's go to the product to reordering rules order ones okay all this here i can see that it's the one waiting and one waiting for the b okay now uh, what you have to do we have to transfer the goods from whb stock to the transit and uh, this one is my product let's make some quantity available for this product okay and enter this warehouse and we can say we have 10 quantity available okay now check quality okay ah, it's a 20 needed uh, i made a mistake let's again update the quantity and uh, set as counted quantity 20 let's go back to where now I have all quantity available. You can validate. Okay, once I validate, uh, the one for the warehouse two is ready to process. Now I can process the stock. So this is the how you can uh, trigger the rule and you can transfer the goods from one warehouse to another warehouse. Thank you.